Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get easy long shots in Modern Warfare 3. Quickly, before we do get into today's video, if you aren't around, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to not miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up, add me your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so late last night I did actually finish the interstellar camo in Modern Warfare 3. Got it all finished up and I noticed that a lot of the guns actually, well not a lot of the guns, but some of the guns are going to need long shots. Some of the ARs, an LMG I believe it was, and let me just show you the easiest way of doing it. Let's just use the MCW for an example. As you can see, I did unlock Interstellar, done all the camos now, can chuck that on. So what you want to do is build the gun out. And building the gun is the most important thing about getting long shots because if you build the gun wrong, you're going to really struggle with this. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the optic. And the optic is one that you guys can sort of pick one that you do like. I normally go for a bigger like magnification sight because it makes it a bit easier to see those long shots, see in those longer positions. However, for this, I actually ended up going for the new sight that was added into Modern Warfare 3. I can't quite remember the name of it. Let me just quickly scroll through, see if I can quickly find it. It's like a thermal optic that's slightly zoomed in as well and it is a ridiculously broken optic so it's not that one i believe it's just before that one so it's this one here the z the sz holotherm i was using this one and honestly it's the most broken sight in the game and i'll show you why in a minute then in terms of the barrel we want to find something that increases the bullet velocity and stuff like that but also increases the recoil control of the gun so let's say for example uh what does the first one do so it's going to increase the aim and idle stability and the fire and aim stability so we'll go with that one under barrel we want something that's going to control the recoil rear grip is going to be exactly the same something that control the recoil again and then the stock once again something that's going to help control the recoil because the thing is when you're going for long shots you just want to be as accurate as you possibly can you don't need to have good mobility you don't need good ads speed you don't need good sprint to fire speed you simply just need the gun to be very controllable and also like i said be able to see that far so this is a sort of class that i'd run you can obviously change a couple of attachments depending on what gun you're using for the long shots and then i was loading into hardcore terminal and understand at the time of you watching this hardcore terminal might not be there so if hardcore terminal isn't there just load into a game of hardcore and do exactly the same as i'm going to do just do what i'm going to do in hardcore but just go and do it in a normal hardcore game it doesn't have to be specifically for terminal it just works well on terminal because there are a couple of spots and a lot of people peak those long shot spots but i'm gonna show you how to do long shots obviously with this class up right now once i've got into a game but quickly before we do jump into the game, actually there is one more thing I do want to say. If you guys are trying to do the LMG, it's mounted long shot kills. So put the deployable cover on. This is going to allow you to mount up on the deployable cover in a lot of the long shot spots. And also because we've got a thermal on, chuck smoke grenades on because then people aren't going to be able to see you. You're going to be able to see them getting very easy long shots and it's going to again make it much, much easier. And then we're going to load into our game of hardcore and I'll show you what to do. Okay, guys, so now we're in a game of hardcore. There's a couple of spots on Terminal that are really good. Like, you've got this one here looking all the way down into that alleyway. But honestly, my favorite spot on Terminal for every single gun is to simply throw our smoke grenades down so people can't see us. And then we're just going to stand here. And every kill that we get down this alleyway, as long as we're stood at the back, is going to go down as a long shot. So, yeah, I mean, someone else might be playing for long shots using a Thermal, potentially. But there you go, long shot kill. It's very, very easy to do. If you guys want to do it, it's very, very simple to do. I'm not going to sit here and obviously get 15. 20 long shots in the video i don't need to show you that many long shots but this is a long shot spot as long as you're killing people down this alleyway doesn't matter if it's an lmg battle rifle ar these will count as long shots so it's very very easy to get done i'm sure when i spawn back in long shot there we go let me mute this guy so there's a lot of long shot spots again this is all you need to do when you are playing for long shots again we can look down there see if anyone comes through there it'd be a long shot doesn't matter what map you're on doesn't have to be terminal you just find a spot where you can see through like a certain alleyway where you know a lot of people are going to run through and you're going to aim down there. And then if you're doing the LMGs, we're going to be putting our, pro uh, our deployable covers down, mounting up in these spots, and then being able to get the mounted kills and the long shots at exactly the same time. So that, guys, is the easiest way of getting long shots in Modern Warfare 3. If the video has helped you out, please be sure to smash thumbs up. As it helps me out more than you can imagine. And let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, please make sure you go and do that, as I am on the road to 25k. So if you can help that, it would be absolutely amazing. But I appreciate you guys watching the end. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.